We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, a group that looks for innovation in energy and sustainability. Imagine electronics that can dissolve when you're finished using them. That could eventually be a reality, and it could have a huge impact on the future of medicine and the environment. Planet Forward's Frank Sesno reports. As digital circuits shrink in size and grow in power, they're becoming nearly invisible. For John Rogers, University of Illinois materials science professor and MacArthur Genius Grant recipient, the next step is a circuit that literally disappears. And what I'm holding here is the world's first completely water-soluble integrated circuit. Rogers uploaded his idea to planetforward.org. The materials in particular that we found to be most useful involve uh, a purified form of silk derived from silkworm cocoons. Replacing rigid silicon wafers with a flexible base opens up a range of new applications in wearable medical devices embedded right into the body. Applying a circuit to the skin is a little like putting on a temporary tattoo. And the technology goes two ways, monitoring the body and responding to it. So we had demos of controlling a helicopter with uh, devices mounted on the forearms so you can you know, make it lift off and it'll rotate around. And you, you can do complex machine control using these kinds of devices as an interfa interface. Beyond the body, these transient circuits can help monitor conditions in an environmental disaster. But if you want to distribute, let's say, 100,000 of these devices over you know, many square miles of a spill site, you wouldn't want to have to go back in and recover them, ideally. So again, transients becomes an important enabler for that kind of use case scenario. As concerns about e-waste grow, Rogers sees this technology playing a role in a greener future. People want a new cell phone every couple of years, and that contributes to a tremendous waste stream. So if we could come back in and say, start making key components or ultimately entire consumer electronic systems out of electronics that are transient, then that could have a tremendous benef beneficial effect on the environment and reduce the costs of recycling and managing those waste streams. John Rogers is trying to move the planet forward with technology that melts in your mouth and not in your landfill. And Planet Forward's Frank Sesno joins me now from George Washington University. Now, Frank, aside from the environmental impact, getting e-waste out of landfills, how else is this technology, how else could this be, you know, a potential game changer? Well, there is some really remarkable potential here, uh, obviously. So take, for example, implanting some of these in your body. It could monitor your heart. Or, or your brain potentially. It could help with internal organs as you heal after surgery or after a terrible accident because then when the healing is done, this stuff could just dissolve. But meanwhile, you're getting all sorts of data and information from it. It could also um, provide, as, as Rogers mentioned there, some real relief uh, with all these consumer electronics uh, if they can be made to be transient, as he, as he pointed out. Now, a couple of hurdles. One, with these uh, internal body devices and using this for medical technology, the FDA has not approved this yet, so that's, that's still in the offing. And the, and the technology actually involved in translating this to major consumer projects is a ways down the line, but Rogers says the research is encouraging and uh, he's very bullish on this technology. But imagine if this stuff, if some of this stuff just dissolved after a certain point or when triggered by virtue of the moisture around it. I mean, it really could be that game changer you mentioned. All right. Thank you, Planet Forwards. Frank says no. Well, if you have an idea you would like to submit to Planet Forward, visit planetforward.org.